Welcome to another PC Sports Cards PSA submission reveal. This is Josh with PC Sports Cards. Today we have a bulk submission that came back, bulk 2023.208. It was out for about a month. Um, very baseball heavy submission. We're going to go through some stuff that came back, tell you our strategies, why we would or wouldn't send some of those cards, and explain our thinking process. Again, this was a group submission. So if you're looking to submit cards, looking to get signed cards, check out our website, pcsportscards.com. And Without further ado, let's get started. As you can see, the submission was sent in on 512. It was received by PSA on 517 and completed on 613. We have 172 cards here, of which we got 94 PSA 10s and 52 PSA 9s, about 85% PSA 9 or better rate. Started off with some top series 1. A lot of people started sending these in. Some people did well, some people didn't. I think we're seeing a correction across the board on stuff like this where it's just not selling for as strong as it used to be. I didn't dive into these cards specifically, but I did dive into some other ones down the road that are not tops, but they're Bowman first. And we'll, we'll talk about that. We'll talk about a lot of different stuff. We're trying to do videos like this once or twice a week. And trying to do other videos like the thousand dollar challenge some consignment stuff that came in some hobby news all that good stuff we're trying to do different videos every single day to show you exactly what's going on here have some cool content coming up 2023 julio independence day numbered 18 of 76 we call it the 17 of 76 i guess very cool card it's a good hit we did have a couple up charges in this order that was not one of them i'll make sure to call out the up charges when we get to them and I'll make sure to dive into the four or five topics that we're going to talk about in this video. If you haven't checked out any of our videos before, we like to go over specific cards, go through why we would or wouldn't submit those cards, and basically the math behind it. A lot of our videos are based on whether we think whether you're going to make money or not make money on the cards. So we have a lot of a lot of information about how to make money in the hobby. So if you like making money in the hobby, these are probably videos for you. If you just did it to collect, just did it for your PC, you may see some really cool cards in here, but the information that we're going to talk about is much more focused on the money in the hobby. Jefferson Guerrero, this is one of those new thicker slabs. So, oh, so is this one. I'm looking for, uh, this, this one prior was not. So you could see, you can't even tell the difference looking at them anymore. You can just feel the weight behind this one. This one definitely feels heavier. That's cool. Alexander Ramirez. Let's go Mets. I would not be grading a lot of these Bowman prospect cards at this point. I'd be grading refractors and better. But that's just me. First topic is one of my favorite cards. I think this card is sick. 2021 Tops Update Black Gold BG3 Mike Trout. There's only 43 of them graded. 26 or 10s. You get, th it's three bucks raw and $43 a PSA 10. Take out all the fees and everything. You're probably making about 10, 15 bucks on a PSA 10. I don't know if it's easier not to grade. I just love the card because it reminds me of 1993 Tops, Tops Black Gold. And I think that was just a really, really cool set back in the day. That's when I was 10 years old. So this is just happens to be one of my favorite cards. I'm always looking for these and I, I haven't pulled the trigger on it. I don't think I've pulled the trigger to buy them to grade just because... I think paper cards are a little bit harder to grade than uh, Chrome, and I play defense first. So what I mean by that is, I said this on the live the other day. I make sure I want to make sure that as long as I'm looking over the card properly, I have a solid chance of at least breaking even. Obviously, a ten, I'm going to make money. So we're going to show you some examples in this video of cards you could make money on with a ten, make a lot of money on with a ten, and break even on with a nine. And then some other examples of cards that you're probably going to lose money either way. Well, not you'll always make money with a 10, but there's just not enough. Not always, but most of the time you make money with a 10. But there's just not enough, uh, not enough of a chance to get a 10 on some cards to make it worth not grading those, grading those cards. Got a Viento Silver. This is numbered to 499. PSA 10. Austin Riley, Chrome, first Chrome, PSA 9. Gabriel Martinez, Gold Refractor. Now, I would definitely grade this card. It did get a 9. 
but you'll probably be safe. There's only 50 copies of it. And Michael Jordan, jersey number 101. Drew Jones, this I think is going to be a really good hit. Uh, it's the Chrome Prospects Lunar Glow Refractor. I have no idea what any of that means. And it is not numbered, but it's a refractor. So it's not as common as uh, base card, obviously. So there's something special about it, which I think will add value to it. And it got a 10. Next up, this is our first card that was actually upcharged. Ellie De La Cruz, 14 of 99, green auto. Got a PSA 9. Still got an upcharge. You only got a one level upcharge on this card. But I did, I got some feedback from you guys that you guys wanted to know when cards got upcharged so you could see what they were. And this was one of them. One of the two cards that got upcharged in this order. The other one got a much bigger upcharge. Oswaldo Peraza, gold auto. Nice. PSA 10. Tops Chrome Update Trout Refractor. This is going to do well. It's probably very low pop because these are very, very hard to grade. We're actually going to go through one of these later on in the, in the video. Not Trout, obviously. But these are tough grades, so going to be low pop. That's probably going to be a $60 or $70 PSA 10. The market is getting smarter. What do I mean by that? Bowman paper is just not worth grading. We've been saying this for a while now that we don't think it's worth grading and you should be grading color or refractors or numbered. But look at this. $1.25 raw card sold for $20 as a PSA 10. Your grading fees are $19. There is literally zero upside in grading this card. You get a 10, you lose money because of fees. Not only that, it's pop 88 out of 196. So you don't have a great chance at getting a 10. This is an absolute horrible card to be grading. Sell these, buy some color paper if you really want to go with paper. I would try to get a refractor or some chrome. You could probably turn all these into one or two refractors. Get a nine or get a ten on the refractors and you're actually making money instead of going backwards by it with the paper cards. I just don't think it makes any sense to be sending this card in. This customer sent three of them and is going to be losing money across the board on those cards, unfortunately. That's probably a 10 to $15 PSA 10 after the ones that came back, because I'm sure other people have sent them in as well. Jesus Baez, Green Shimmer, Colby Thomas. I'm a big fan of sending in numbered chrome, numbered chrome autos. All right, we got a Roman Anthony Green Shimmer, PSA 8. Let's see if I can quickly look this card over. I could see a bend going through this, this corner down here. This is, oh, maybe that's just a reflection. This is on both sides. I'm going to look at a bunch of other Chrome stuff to see if that's just a reflection. Cheerio Spotlight. This is a cool card. This is like a rainbow fart without the fart. These Spotlights cards. Those are cool. Pretty simple. I like that. I really like that. And I also like that it's got the black border, so it's relatively easy to decide if you're going to send it in or not. That's a pretty cool card. Cam Collier, again, paper. It's going to be a loser. Maybe if you have the first one back, you're going to make money, but so many people think that they're going to do it and they're going to send the cards in and be the ones that get them back first. When you're fighting everybody to do the same exact thing, you're not going to make money. I like these. I like the Scouts 100. They're refractors. I don't know. I didn't check out the money on them. Not a card I'm probably buying to send in. Drew Joe Spotlight. Yeah, I like these Spotlight cards. These are cool. And probably relatively easy to look over, which I like also. So like I said, we have 172 cards in this order. Good mix of stuff, but mostly baseball, which makes sense when this was sent in. Um, personally, I'm sending in football and basketball right now, leaning more towards basketball. I'm going to start buying basketball and hockey, actually, uh, for the $1,000 challenge. We, I will tell you that six cards in this order, the last six cards of this order, are my cards for the $1,000 challenge. Um, went three out of six. Not really happy about that, but still going to make money because I picked the right cards. Give you an example of one of the ones that I picked also. Zach Daniels, blue refractor PSA 10. That's a cool one. Zach Daniels, orange auto PSA 10. All for grading the, the chrome stuff, guys. All for it. Got a Cueva Fuchsia Shimmer. It looks the same exact color as the Papadasha 101, so that was a little confusing. 
James Wood Refractor, PSA 9. Guy's a beast. Gutierrez, PSA 10. I am not extremely up to date on the prospects that are worth grading or not, but I think a lot of the Chrome Autos are worth grading no matter what. Got a PSA 7 on the Gutierrez. See if I can figure out why. Looks like there's a fingernail. Yeah, there's, there's peeling or a fingernail or something wrong right here. What's up, guys? It's Zach. Just dropping in. We're doing a reveal. Yeah, so you got a right in the blue over here. I can try to circle it when I do the video. But you can see in the camera, even on the screen, you can see it right now. Yeah, you can see it pretty clean. So I'm that's peeling on the bottom of the card. So you should have seen that before you sent that in. Good here. Three out of three, three tens. And a nine. Got a Valcaro. And we had our, here comes the big, big, big upcharge, guys. Jackson Holiday Refractor PSA 10. So, Josh, is this a card where you consider dual grade? Jackson Holiday, I would consider dual grade on. This is this a little streaky on this one. It would probably get a nine. You think with the J? This one of the better ones. Going I've across seen. here, this is yeah, going to get a nine. nine. So, but if you get a 10-10 on this, I think one of our friends got a 10-10 on one of those. That's a card that there would be a premium. That's a good topic that we talked about from uh, the live yesterday. I think this one looks as deceiving. It might be a 10 auto. It's close. I That's when I think you get 2x. Yeah, but I wouldn't send it. I wouldn't take the chance because you're going to go 0.8x if you get a 9 auto. Right? Like, you won't get the if full. If you know you have a 10, 10 auto, I mean. Mora Bell is one of the guys that I would definitely send in for duel because I know his auto is terrible from all the ones that we've seen. Uh, this is a dark, this is a good one though. Did he get a ten or a nine? Nine. Balcazar. I just like his name. God. He's a big one. He's a big one. He's the red. We had the red raw one, eight K. Oh really? Weekend, yeah. But these are not numbered ones. These are like the weird lava of three ninety nine. One's numbered. Was this one numbered? No. I mean, that's I mean there's a 0% chance I try to say that first name. This was a fun one. I'm like, how are people going to list these cards on eBay? It's spelled wrong. But it's just so long, you can't get yeah, all the details. <laughs> it's like there's this guy that's raking Christian Encarnacion St Strand from 21. He's awesome on the Reds. He's like close. He's a big prospect, but you can't get all the details on the list. <laughs> like, the guys have been asking me what should they do. Leave out Bowman? <laughs> it's like no chrome. or like It's like, it's like you're in that point. Holla at your boy. Same guy. I got eights and nines on this. I'm still okay sending these in, especially if he's a good prospect. Dodgers hitting prospect. Yeah. It's like it's like Dodgers Yankees. You always send them in. Especially Dodgers hitter. The Paula run of nines here. It's a run of nines, but the thing with sending in all these chrome models of the same guy, you get two or three tens and you make your money in more back. You're losing you probably need to go 25-30% to make money on it without doing the research on that exact card. You probably need to go 25, 30%, sending four or five of them in, and you at least make your money back, if not make money. This is a, another stunning autograph by Dernich Valdez, followed by a Tommy Specht. All he does is put a T on it. Wow. My son, my five year old could sign that. Dernich, he's the one that does, uh, he just writes out Dernich in print, right? Yeah. Let me see it. The, the, the Tommy Specht I want to see. The next, those two cards. Dominic Kins. <laughs> This great uh, great autos. Elijah Green. That's a nice one. He's good also, right? Yeah, that's the second one, though. Like, the human draft. Drew Gilbert. He PSA 8. Is he? Is it 23 or is it 22? 22. One? I was like, he is a double one also? Here's another one, and I'm sorry that Zach has to be here for, for this part of the, the video. That's one I wouldn't grade if you're going to get a 9. We got three PSA 9 J-Rod Purples from Update. Guys, you got to look over the pop reports, especially at this point, for cards like this. It's known to be a tough card to grade. Really low gem rate. Look right here. We got 64.5% are 9s, 21.5% are 10s. Very, very hard to get a 10 on this card. $15 raw, $20 is a 9. So you're basically losing your whole grading fee if you get a 9 on it, losing 20 bucks each time. And if you get a 10, you get you make... 65 so right because 113 minus fees you get 100 bucks so say you get 100 bucks you go you hit the odds exactly right you get we're gonna say four four nines which beating the odds you could probably get an eight get even less money but let's say four nines and 110 you get a hundred 
plus 15, 15, 15, and 15. So you get 160. You could have sold them for 75, just raw, and you spent uh, 100 on fees. So you could have sold them for 75, but you're really going to sell them for 60 now, even though you hit the numbers. That, to me, shows you that that is a losing card. I hope that was clear. I've done that in a lot of videos where I go over the numbers and I type them all out. I didn't type them out in this one. I hope you guys get it. If not, let me know and I'll clarify it. But what it comes down to is you can't send in cards with that low of a chance of getting a 10, even if you're sure. Because when you're sure, you could still be wrong. Well, and that card now is 20, 25 as a PSA 9. And when you it came yeah. out raw, it was 60, and it's probably 20, 25 now as a 15. PSA. 15 raw. Now? And 110 as a PSA 10. It's 15 now. Yeah. So you're losing. Yeah, and you also had a month, a month ago that you could have sold this, so they're probably a little bit more expensive then. So, and you could have reused the money. That's something we're going to talk about later on. We're going to talk about velocity of sales and how many times you could reuse money, which was a big thing a couple months ago with SGC submissions and why people were using SGC. We're going to get into that versus selling cards fixed price later on. We had a request for a video like that. We're hitting Otani Chrome updates. I think these are going to go well. But again, I don't know that I'm taking the chance on them. That's the difference. Because like I said in the beginning of the video, defense first. Defense first. Do not go swinging for the fences. Play defense first. Make It's better to make money every single time, even if you're not 100% sure, or lose less. Losing less instead of grading a card that just shouldn't be graded. I have a pile of cards from the $1,000 challenge that just, I don't think they have a good enough shot at getting a 10. And even if I do think they have a shot at a 10, they just, it, the, the juice isn't worth the squeeze is what it comes down to. Here we have a J-Rod 8. Guys, Look at the centering. Don't send it in. I don't need to look at anything else. Why are you sending this card in? The, the only reason to send the card in like that is hoping that PSA misses the centering. Because, yes, that does happen every once in a while. But, like, Zach, yeah. come check the centering on these two J-Rods out. Like, these don't even pass the Zach centering test. Let me see. The 8 and then the 7. And I'm a PSA centering great. Oh, my God. Look at the 7. The bottom one. The eight might be worse. Uh. <laughs> so, if they don't pass the Zach centering test, we, we, we know there's problems. I actually think the eight's worse centering both ways because it's both ways bad. The seven is. That's a good point. Remember, both ways. So if it goes a little bit left and a little bit and a little bit up top bottom, if it goes off both directions, that's worse. These aren't ours, right? No, I don't think so. I mean, if they are, you put them in the submission. I would have put that in. So, it's better to be off more in one direction than a little bit in both directions. Rogers, blue wave. Number to 199, PSA 10. All right. This is a cool one. This next one is a cool one. That's our next topic. So, we do these videos to educate you and to educate ourselves on cards to look for that we can make money with grading. Najee Harris is one of the top running backs in the NFL, or projected to be one of the top running backs in the NFL. Not a lot of these cards are graded. Here's the key. Remember, defense first. Here's the key. 118 are graded, 52 nines, 50 nines, 52 tens. It's $3 raw and $22 as a nine. So you have 102 out of 118. Math, right? 102 out of 118. 50 plus 52. You have 102 out of 118 chance to get a 9 or better on this card. So you have a 5 in 6 chance to at least break even, and then 2.5 out of 12 chance to make 60, 50 bucks. So as long as centering is good on these cards, and I don't see anything obvious, I'm very happy sending these in because it's a low risk card. It's a very low, even an 8 is probably 15 bucks on that. So it's a low risk card to send in. And what I, say, what I mean by find the patterns and go after them is look for other guys like Najee Harris that might be undergraded and do send those in instead of following the pack and sending in every Drew Jones Bowman prospect card that you're going to end up losing money on because it 10 sells for the cost of grading. Send in the cards, same exact price raw, right? A dollar or three dollars, add in the shipping cost. It's going to be the same. Send in the card that other people aren't sending in. Learn how to look for players, how to look for those cards, and then send those cards in 
instead. All right, we got Fatty Mosaic. Harry Kane Green Mosaic. God, I love Mosaic. Sokka, 10. I like this card. Give and go, insert. Probably not a lot of them graded. Going to make money on that. Overall, I think this is a great submission of cards that there's profit in. I don't know soccer that well, so I just I can't tell you if these guys are the right ones to send in. I do know, I, I recognize every single one of these names, so that's usually a good sign. From Avinga, neon green foil, numbered to 199. These are paper cards, so they're a little bit tougher. Bruno Fernandez, numbered to 99. You say eight. Usually eights, you could if you look closely, you could find the problem. Sevens and worse, you could see the problem right away. Gold star. Well, that's a cool looking card. These uh look like they're not grading so well though. So gotta be careful sending these cards in if you're gonna send them in. These star ball fire card, these star ball foil cards are cool. It's like the MLB logo card, Zach, with soccer balls. It's a Topps product. These are cool. Holland, Mbappe. These are all the right names, obviously. Ronaldo, Portugal for United. That's cute. Uh, Gavi, PSA 10. Suchic, SP, PSA 8. Mbappe, Messi, and Neymar. That's a cool card. The, there are a bunch of them in there. Got a lot of PSA 10s on this one. Holland flags of foundation. Yeah, those are cool. Walter Payton, man of the year, camo pink. I, I hope this one's getting consigned. I'm going to guess it goes 30 to 35 bucks. But it could be another one of those ones that's going to go like 24 to 28 as a PSA 10 at this I point. Think that one goes like 50, 60, but there's not a lot of those graded. Yeah, there, Elway was pop three. I don't know. Are there that many people out there looking for Walter Payton cards right now? People, loves, people love Walter Payton. 2000. Oh God. Black refractor. 2014 update. Uh, Trout Walmart Blue PSA 9. That's cool. I think I have one of these sitting at my house somewhere. This is sick, Zach. I didn't even see this one before. 2001 UD Pros and Pros and Prospects Game Jersey Peyton Manning. PS10. Non-auto. PS10. Game used. Old. That's cool. Third year. Fourth year. Vic, I can't say anything good about him. Too much of a dog lover. Sorry, guys. Eli. Wait, 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 wait. Why don't you give Eli a little bit of love? I knew there was another one coming. Oh, I guess you knew already. That's the like the gold, basically. The collection. Oh, is it? Yeah, that's better than the base. You got a Marshawn Lynch, rookie PS9. SP Authentic rookie auto? Yeah. auto? Bowman Chrome. I have that too. I'm of 25. Do you still have it? Yeah. This is cool. 2007 Bowman Chrome Calvin Johnson base and refractor PS10. Bowman or Tops? Bowman. The Bowman's actually nicer than the Tops. That year. What do you think about the next card? Hate Rob Gronkowski. Didn't you get a really good offer on that Lynch at one point? It's like 300 bucks. Black Refractor Gronk. Hate him. 2011 Finest Refractor PSA 8. Those are good as 10. <laughs> the Breeze Blue Refractor numbered, right? We have, uh, yeah, number 90. We have a raw. We got a raw Rogers here that I got to look over. Blue Hyper, PSA 9, Jordan Love. I don't love the Hypers, the pink or the blue, for grading purposes. I think they're cool-looking cards. I just think they, for some reason, the scopes and all the other ones just are, are easier to grade. James Outman, a perfect example of a guy that was hot in the beginning of the season and just is out, man. <laughs> uh, I got a Pocket Rook, PSA 8. So as you can see, we don't have all ultra-modern cards here. We have a Jordan golf card. It's cool. Eight profitable though, right? 
On a pocket? Depends what you bought it for. If it was sitting in your house, then sure, it's it's worth more than it was. Is it worth more than grades they sell? I don't know. Sixteen opening day blue foil. I mean, that's a good example when people say, "Hey, I have these cards in great condition in my house." Like an eight on a pocket is pretty great, good. Great, yeah. Like it means you did take care of it. Trout five. Sure, it would be cool. Ooh, tops big league. I mean, it's probably pop one. That probably is not a huge loss. But he's not playing well right now. He's like 230. He's just dropping every fantasy league. Jordan Skybox. I can't tell you guys enough not to send those cards in. The only way you make money is if it's 10. It's very hard to get a 10 on those cards. You have to know what you're doing. Upper deck six. All these cards. Looks like somebody sent in their childhood stuff. I notice when we do that or when I send those in, a lot of times, like I, when I think I will get a 10, I can get a 10, but half the time they also come become sevens. Yeah. Because it's like you, it's hard to see. In the paper or something, you would see on like a piece of chrome right away. And the last six cards are from the thousand dollar challenge. <laughs> Herbert Blue Mosaic got a nine. I'm gonna do a deeper dive video into these, so I'm gonna go a little quick on the first few. Oof, Brady got an eight. I'll lose my grading fee on this one. Oof. I don't. I don't know why. I'll look closer. He's mastering that stare, though. Here we go. Oh, oh boy. This is what he's saying. You don't have to go 100%, right? Patty guys? Mahomes, blue hot. I bought it for 30 bucks. We're all going to get 100 to 150 out of it. That probably covers the whole grading fee. It covers it all. That's what Josh is Here's saying. Here's the big one. You just got to hit the right ones. Here's the big one. Is this a Insert big? hollows for days. Is this actually worth more than the Mahomes? $4 raw. This is good. It was $4 instead of $30. <gasps> It'll go $70 to $120. I'm going to list it for $149.99 or best offer. For about a week. You George Bush of these boys? Yeah. one forty nine ninety nine or best offer. I'll have it up there for a week, and then I'll send it to auction Someone if it doesn't sell. Buying up all these, and then they'll... they're going. They're, there's a lot of them that have been selling. They're, people aren't grading them. And then National Pride, grade them, Mosaic, the pride LeBron, PS10. Red Mosaic, bro. National Pride flag match. This is cool card. Numbered or no? No, these aren't numbered, but this us get 50 bucks, though. People, people love the National Pride. And last and certainly least, this was like seven bucks raw. I may actually get like twenty five bucks out of it. It's numbered to forty nine. I may get twenty five bucks out of this as a PSA nine. Is that the sheriff? This is your boy. He's my boy. Yeah, this is this is the and I know why. There's a huge there's a line going across the bottom. A lot of lines on the back going across. So that's what cost me on this one. So, so that was our hundred seventy two card PSA submission that came back this week. A lot more videos coming out. I have about eight videos written down that I want to get done by the end of the week. So we have a lot of content that's going to be coming out. Thousand dollar challenge. I have a pile of about thirty cards that I want to that I want to review. I have cards that came back. Zach and I have some more cool consignment stuff that we're going to go through with you guys. Tons and tons of stuff that we're going to do. Hit that subscribe button. Comment like. Even some more contests, just like the Boncaro that ends on Sunday. Thanks so much for watching.